Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to create curved text that follows the curvature of an arc and we'll do it using the Arc Align tool in AutoCAD. So here we are, thank you for staying. As I mentioned earlier in this video, we will learn how to create curve text in AutoCAD and to do that we'll use the dedicated command arc aligned text. Basically the arc aligned text command creates a text that follows the curvature of a specific arc. For this reason I've already created a few arcs ready for us to use for our examples and to jump right in there are two ways to create the curved text. One is by using the actual uh, button, the arc align text button located in the toolbar. This can be found in the express tools under the text section, arc aligned button. Or if you cannot find uh, the express tools in this specific tool you can always use the command prompt at the bottom and just type in the command arc text both methods do exactly the same and uh, create the same result as soon as we hit enter to execute the command autocad is waiting for, from us to select a specific arc which will be used, which uh, will use its curvature as a reference for our curved text. I'm selecting this uh, small arc here on the left. As soon as we select the actual arc, um, an options window will pop up with all the different options we have available for creating our curved text. In the middle, there's a space for us to enter our desired text. I will just write sample. There's a few options at the bottom and at the top. We will go through them in a minute. There are some basic options, which are the fonts and the color for the text. These are pretty basic. Uh, there's, there is the text height depending on the scale of the drawing you might want to change the height of your text and uh, text width this is actually the actual width of each letter i will leave them as it is for now click ok and here is our text it is following the curvature of the selected arc. Let's go ahead, delete it and uh, do it again. Select the same arc and this time I uh, will uh, make the text height a little bit bigger and uh, the width factor a little bit thicker. Use the same text just to see the difference. Here you go. The letters are taller and thick. Delete it again. And let's go back to our tools. So I'm entering the desired text height and width for my text. The next option we have is the offset of the text from the actual arc. If I choose to have my text offset by 0.3 sample, click OK. You see the text is further out from the arc. Now Let's see what the top buttons do one by one. 
we have four buttons here designated with the letters L, R, F and C. L stands for left and basically what it does, it will align our text to the left of the arc. The same with the letter R, it stands for right and it will align our text to the right of the arc. F stands for fit, it will basically stretch or shrink our text to fit along the whole uh, span of the arc. And C stands for center, it will uh, put our text exactly in the middle of the selected arc. Let's try R this time. Our text should appear on the right side of the arc we had selected. Hit OK. And there it is on the right. Let's do one more. And this time we'll select this uh, arc here at the bottom. Let's choose center this time. We want to align our uh, text right in the middle of the arc. Um, write our text sample text. One uh, option I forgot to mention. We have another option here at the bottom, character spacing. It basically, we can define the spacing between each letter. So now we have, we have selected center, click OK, and our text is exactly in the middle of the selected arc. Let's do another one, and this time we will uh, have our text span the whole length of the arc. So we will have to choose the fit option here. Type our text, structural details. Can change, as we said, the color. Make it blue. And uh, hit OK. And hit OK, and it will uh, stretch the whole text to match the length of the arc. There it is. As a note, when we are selecting the fit option to match the length of the arc, the fit option, you can see that the character spacing option is grayed out, is not available to us anymore because the program needs to match the length of the arc. Therefore, it will auto-select a proper spacing uh, between the letters. If we change it back to left, you will see that the character spacing option is uh, uh, reopens again and available for the user to change it. The next two buttons control the positioning of the text. The first one, and it's the one we had selected until now, it will place the text on the convex side, on the outer side of the arc. And the next option, it will place the text on the concave side, on the inner side of the arc. Let's go ahead and select, select the concave side, and we should see our text appear on the inside of the arc. Let's go ahead and change the color as well. Hit OK, and there it is. Let's do another example. Arc align command, select this arc at the top. This time I'm going to write a text AutoCAD with capital letters. I will choose to have it aligned to the left. Change my character spacing to 0.2 color magenta and I want it at the top on the outside of the arc. Click OK. There is my text. Let's do another one. Select the same arc. This time 
we want it to be on the inside of the arc aligned to the right of AutoCAD again as our text change the character spacing back to 0.1 and click OK the text is aligned to the right if we want to offset the text from the side we chose to be aligned there is the option as well enter our text AutoCAD align to the right on the inside and now I have uh, the option to change how much I want the text to be offset from the beginning I will choose 0 0.3 hit OK and there it is the text is offset from the starting point the next two options we have available control the orientation of the text and how we are looking onto the text and reading it uh, to demonstrate I will select the top arc here have our text right sample I want it to be centered at the top on top of the arc and we will choose the outward from the center meaning that we are standing at the center of the arc looking towards the arc hit OK and that is our text now if I try to do the same for the bottom arc leave the same text sample leave everything as it was before center at the top reading from the center towards the arc we will see the text upside down because we are reading it from the center of the arc towards the arc if we want to correct this delete do exactly the same procedure but this time we will have to select this option reading the text from the arc towards the center and there it is oriented the correct way once more the two options control how we are reading the text the first one is as if we are standing at the center of the arc looking towards the center and the other one is as if we are standing on the arc leading a reading towards the center couple of things uh, to note AutoCAD needs an arc to create the curve text if uh, if we want to have a curve text without the actual arc showing we can just go ahead and delete it afterwards another thing we should note is that the command does not work on uh, circles we have a circle here if we write the command arc text and try to select our circle we will see a notice must select an arc it's because AutoCAD needs to have an arc in order to execute the curve text command let's do a few more examples on this last arc we have available here uh, just write text 0 0.1 0 0.1 I want it aligned to the left on the outside reading it from the center here we go another one in the center this time on the inside reading it from the center again text okay one last example same text I want it on the outside and this time reading it from the arc towards the center 
and if I want it on this side, it is actually now the left side because that's the way we are looking at our text. And there it is, reading the other way around. And uh, this is all you need to know for creating curved text in AutoCAD. It's not that complicated, just fool around with the options a couple of times until you get the hang of it. Remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.